What is the plastic straw ban? Plastic straws are bad for the environment. Suddenly, there are a lot more straws in the world than there used to be. Several countries have now banned the distribution and use of plastic straws because of this. Thanks for joining Dynamic Earth Learning. Our content covers interesting earth science, conservation, and sustainability topics. Visit our website dynamicearthlearning.com for teacher resources, videos, and e-learning courses. History of Drinking Straws Straws have been used by humans since the beginning of time. It is thought that the ancient Sumerians used cylindrical tubes to get fluids out of jars. People who came up with the modern drinking straw were called Marvin Chester Stone. A pencil was used to make the first straw. He wrapped strips of paper and tape around it. In the 1930s, Joseph Friedman came up with a straw that could bend. This made the drinking straw a lot better. Today, straws are used in almost every part of the world. They come in different sizes and in different styles. The colors and shapes of some of them make them look better. The bendable straws make it possible for people to drink even when they are lying down. How much do plastic straws contribute to pollution? The problem with plastic straws is a big problem all over the world. Plastic straws are a major source of pollution in the environment. As many as 3.5 billion straws are used in countries like Australia every year. In the United States, scientists say we use about 500 million plastic straws every single day. Consumers in Europe use as many as 25.3 billion straws each year. Because most of these straws are only used once, they are thrown away almost right away. Plastic straws are often found in landfills or in the ocean, and they can be hard to get rid of. Between 437 million and 8.3 billion plastic straws end up in the oceans around the world. It can be hard to think of all the ways that straws can harm the environment. How plastic straws affect the environment. Plastic straws do not break down. This means they can't be broken down by the living microorganisms that live in the world. As long as you don't throw them away the right way, plastic straws can stay in the environment for many years or even decades. It is thought that a plastic straw can take up to 200 years to break down. Straws can't break down on their own, which is bad for the environment and the whole world. In the process of decomposition, Plastic straws give off chemicals that can make people and animals sick. Millions of plastic straws are thrown away into the environment every day. The waste will take a long time to clean up. Plastic straw pollution facts. Plastic straws can cause a lot of waste. Millions of plastic straws are all over the world, and they are hurting ecosystems. 1. Plastic straws pollute the oceans. The oceans are filled with plastic straws. Marine conservation groups say that 8 million tons of plastic waste enter the ocean each year. The plastic straws are also part of this list. Plastic straws are bad for marine animals. Plastic straws can kill sea turtles and other animals in the sea. They think the plastic debris is food because they don't know any better. Due to the fact that plastic straws can't be digested, they can get stuck in the animal's digestive tract and kill them. Because plastic straws are light, they can float in the water for a long time, blocking out the sun. This can slow down the growth of phytoplankton in the ocean, which is good for the fish. 2. Plastic straws cause soil pollution. The plastic used to make drinking straws can't be broken down by soil microbes very quickly. Plastic straws that have been in the ground for a long time may break down into small pieces of plastic. Toxins are often released into the soil by these things. Chemicals from plastic straws can get into underground water sources and make them dirty. People who drink contaminated water can get diseases that can kill them. A polluted soil can harm the health of plants and animals in an ecosystem. If you have microplastics in your food chain, they can have an effect on everything in your food chain. 3. 
burning plastic straws, causes air pollution. Most of the plastic waste on the planet is discarded in landfills. These sites are often set on fire to reduce the amount of waste. The burning of plastic straws releases dangerous gases into the air. This is true of most plastic materials when they burn. Asthma and other health problems can be caused by these things. A lot of carbon dioxide is made when plastic straws are made. This is one of the main gases that make the world warmer. Is the plastic straw ban effective? It has worked in most countries. However, banning plastic straws will not solve the plastic problem. Plastic straws only make up about 1% of all the plastic waste in the world. Conservation groups and governments have made a big difference in the environment thanks to their work. There is still a lot of work to be done to keep the world plastic free. How to reduce plastic straws There are several ways through which we can reduce the number of plastic straws in the environment. Alternatives to plastic straws Glass straws If you look at the name, glass straws are made of glass. They can be used again and again, so people can use them over and over again. Clean glass straws after each use to avoid getting them dirty. Meta straws. Metal straws are very strong. They can also be used many times. Straws made of food grade metals should be the only choice for people who don't want to get sick. Paper straws. Unlike plastic straws, paper straws break down. On average, they can break down in 90 days. This means that they are safe for the soil and the rest of the world. Also, paper straws can be recycled, so they won't add to the amount of waste that is already there. Silicone straws. Silicone straws don't have harmful toxins in them. All ages can use them. These straws are not only reusable, but they can also be used again and again and again. How to stop the plastic pollution. It can help the world's plastic problem if there are bans and restrictions on things like plastic bags. When people are shopping, they should only buy materials that are biodegradable, recyclable, and reusable. This will cut down a lot on the number of plastic materials in the environment. The government and environmental protection agencies should talk to people in their area about the effects of plastic pollution. There will be a lot of plastic all over the world if no one does anything about it. This will harm the ocean, freshwater sources, and other parts of the environment. Thanks for joining us. Consider following Dynamic Earth Learning for more earth science, conservation, and sustainability topics. And visit our website dynamicearthlearning.com for teacher resources, videos, and environmental e-learning courses.